description of what you want to do. So you want to think of the golf club angle established at address. If I draw a line from the bottom of the club through the top of your elbow, and then I draw another line on the shaft. Whoops, I'm going to try that again. So the club head should swing along the shaft line, which you do on that backswing. But then where is the club head coming down? It's not staying inside the yellow zone. Right? So, so that's a big problem. When you don't keep the club, what we call, on the proper swing plane, in that yellow targeted zone, then the club head gets to the outside of the ball. So if the club head comes down, here's where it started inside that box. Well, when you hit the ball, the club head's outside the box. So when it's outside the box, the club head actually is to the outside of the ball. So what you want to do in your golf swing is you want to, in your brain, you want to keep that golf club, this is what I was saying earlier, you want to feel like your hands swing right along this line all the way up. And what's happening is your hands go up, so you're not really swinging your arms around your body, you're swinging your arms more up. And then when you come down, it's, it's on the wrong plane. It's too steep. So really, the club head should be traveling down that lower line, not the upper line. Or the club head should stay inside, close to those circles that I've drawn. And so the way to do that you just feel like your arms swing more around your body, not up. And I can show you a uh, a player that's doing that, so you have some idea of what to do. right here, whoop, that's not it, well I don't have them in here, here's a good picture, so watch this club, see the, the hands are inside the, and the club is back pretty much parallel this angle. See how those two lines are pretty much parallel, this line and that line. So that's more where we want the club to travel. His hands are going to be over his right shoulder more. So your hands are not over your right shoulder. Your hands are underneath your right shoulder. So what we want to do simple enough is just get your hands back here. If we can get your hands back there, everything will be good. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. All right. My name is Jim Estes and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club, you can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting
feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions.